If you go to Elephant and Castle, you'll find the reason I went to live in Colombia for a whole year. Colombian food! So today I'm going to meet my good friend Lily from Spanish with Lily and we're going to make some Colombian food. And there she is. Hi Lily. Thanks for helping me cook some stuff today. I'm really excited. No, it's my pleasure. So maybe we can make a arepas. I like yes. that. Yes, arepas with cheese. I really like that. So this one is the harina pan. And we are going to cook this one. The plantain. And to buy the cheese as well. And the chocolate, no? This one, like chocolate, hot chocolate, a bocadillo. And this is going to be in the in the plantain. Is guajava, is that the same as hangover? Guajabo. Oh, guajabo. Guajabo is hanover. And guajaba. Guajaba is the fruit. And what else? This one. Do you think they have one of these? <laughs> Good question. No, just called cafe. Which is okay, it's good. But but it's not one know, Valdez. Yes, no. Arequipe. Arequipe. What is your favorite thing to put arequipe with? Obleas. Obleas with arequipe and cheese. Nice. We can bring arequipe if you want. So that place is kind of important to I me. Think. That's the first place I had bandeja paisa. Ah, uh, really? That day I decided like I'm definitely going to Colombia and eating no everything. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because the bandeja paisa. Just because of bandeja paisa. Oh. So we've got everything, what are we going to make? Hey, we are going to make arepas. And this is what you'll need. Some corn flour, mozzarella cheese, butter, milk and salt. It's okay, that sounds easy. easy. Yes. And it's very Colombian. Yes. Okay, okay perfect. We have here. Yeah. Ah, it's much better. No? It's much better. Start by adding a little bit of water to the corn flour, then a pinch of salt, a fork of butter, and as much cheese as you want, really, no one's gonna judge you. A little bit of milk, and then mix it all together. And then you have to put like this. Like a little bit. Yes, and you put cheese here inside. I don't know how I'm doing this wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> I remember this from my days in Colombia, but I mostly remember the feeling the day after. Uh, is this a myth or is it true? The, the blue tops don't give you hangovers because there's no sugar in it. Is that yes, true? Yes, maybe. Yes. I mean, I we, know. we need to, you yeah. know, what? let's make the, the... another video. Let's test it. So what are we, are we doing like a full shot? Yes. Nice. That is small one. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. Al centro. Y pa dentro. Y pa dentro. Muy bien. Very good. How did you find it? That's going down very nicely. Mm. Too easily. I love that. <laughs> that should be more difficult to drink. When, whenever you go out, People are like, hagamos una vaca. vaca. Hagamos una vaca. Hagamos una vaca. Do you know how to say that in English? Chip in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll all chip in. What's the next thing we're going to make? Hot chocolate with cheese. Is it the same cheese? Yes, we use all of the, the same cheese. The Don't mozzarella worry. cheese? Yes. Now, usually people might think hot chocolate and mozzarella we... don't go together. But I love that. You're going to love that. Tell them. Yes. <laughs> so we're using this, but like, can people use any type of chocolate? The normal one is very sweet. This is different. And it's not, it's different flavor. It smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> And then we need this, this, this one. This is the most important because it's the molinillo. What do you call, how do you call molinillo? I have no, I've never seen one in my life. So usually we use a chola pan, like a olleta, but Ali doesn't have because, you know. Se ve muy bien, se ve bueno, mira. Yeah, very fluffy. Perfect. 
So we have the hot chocolate here. The best thing in this recipe is the cheese. We have to put maybe one, yes, two. And this is delicious. The next one is some amazing Colombian street food. All you need is plantains, guava, specifically this guy, not the fruit, and that mozzarella cheese again. We are going to put cheese and bocadillo. Inside it? Inside it. Okay. But first of all, we have to fry the plantains. Bocadillo and some cheese. Mm. Perfect. We're going to put this in the oven for how long? More or less 10 minutes. Is it burned? No. Perfect. Where's your Colombian pride? Like, I forget I'm home. Terrible. But the next time, I'm going to bring the yellow one. Yeah. I wanted the better, yellow one, but. But it's better. Yeah. Yes, but it's nice as well. A okay. bit small for you, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What do you think? Anyone who doubts the cheese and chocolate mm. combination needs to try this. Mm. It's unique. It's special. unique. Yeah. 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 Now we we can try the arepas. No? Do you dip it in there? Yeah, but I, normally I dip bread with the cafe or chocolate. So good. Mm. Mm. And reminds me home. So, when did you first come to England? Two years ago. So how did your idea of England live up to the reality of England? Well, I'm from a small town. Are you from, wait, don't tell me, Pacho. Pacho, Cundinamarca. <laughs> It's a small town, you know, everyone knows each other. Yeah, like, a hi, vecino, how are you? And I go out and everyone knows me. I like that. And it's nice. And here you feel like uh, nobody knows you and nobody cares about you. Like, okay, you are one more. Which is good, but it's, it's bad, you know? Did you notice no one says hello to their neighbor here? No. That's is something I miss as well. The community sense, like uh, be with neighbors, with the, and the parties as well. <laughs> Obviously. Well, talking of parties, I mean, we, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Like Jarvis. Play Vicente Fernandez. <laughs> you know, this is how I learn Spanish. Ah, uh, really? No it's re way. He's really good for conditionals. Yeah. You know the, the one that's like, Si me hubieras dicho era. <laughs> so through that I was like, oh, okay, that's how conditionals work in Spanish. Yeah, ah, si me hubieras dicho era, yeah. So in English, that would be like third conditional. If I had blah, 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 yeah. Songs are the best way to uh, learn. Ah, okay, yes. Cheers, how do you say cheers in Spanish? Salud. Salud. So Refajo is with Colombiana. Oh, thank you so much beer okay and we mix it yeah. cheers. cheers salud salud oh this beer yeah. what do you think about that I, i'm a big fan okay so mm -hmm. the plantain no mm -hmm. oh my god mm -hmm. this is an amazing mix yeah my mouth doesn't know what's happening <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of salty, bit of sweet, mm. bit of Yeah, is it banana. salty? Yeah, <laughs> banana. <laughs> you know how I mentioned that the Santa Fernandez mm. helped me learn uh, Spanish? Yes. Conditionals. Um, one of my friends told me that, that in Colombia, a common thing to do is to drink aguardiente and cry about your heartbreaks. Yes, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I thought we could play a little English game. We could talk about our heartbreaks yes. using conditionals. Give an example. Do you want an example? Yeah. Okay. So, so I was dating this one girl, and for me, um, we have an expression. She was the one that got away. 
The one that got away, huh? When you break up with someone yeah. or if you're dating someone yes. and it ends. Yes. Then you're like, oh, sh why did that end? I think that had potential to be something really good. Yes, yes. But it ended. Yeah. The one that got away. Do you have a similar expression in Spanish? Yeah, we should have, but I don't know. I don't remember. Sorry. <laughs> ah, you know in Vicente Fernandez's song, <laughs> Lo peor es que muy tarde comprendí contigo tenía todo y, y lo perdí. perdí. Ah, sí, that is sí, the sí, perfect, sí. Ah, the one that got away. Wow, yeah. your Spanish is so good. Thanks to Vicente Fernandez. <laughs> I could say, if if I told that girl um, how I felt, maybe we would have had a nice relationship. We wouldn't. If I had continued with Jonathan, is the name. Okay. I couldn't meet Will. Ah, I wouldn't have met. I wouldn't have met Will. Should we cheers to that? Yes. So, we're not crying yet, so yes. we need a little bit more. Okay, cheers okay, for so. this girl. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> How was your first, like, um, heartbreak? Um, I was four years old. Okay, tell me what happened. I think we had like a school party and she didn't want to dance with me. And did you cry? I think maybe, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but a serious relationship. But a serious yeah. one? Honestly, my first like real one wasn't until I was 20, 21, mm, I guess. Yeah. I think we were together for about two years. Yeah. And then we broke up. Like, it was better that we broke up. Yes. But it still hurts yes, when you break up. Yes, yeah. So that would have been my first real heartbreak. And how, for example, do you break up? And what is the thing next? Like, uh, you go out with friends or how do you like a uh, rebound? A uh, rebound. So you feel down, yes. but you try to yes, feel good again? Yes. What do you think about this? The best way to get over someone is to move on to someone else. What do you think of that? Un clavo saca otro clavo. We say that. Un clavo. Yeah. One nail saca otro clavo. Yeah. One yeah. nail takes out another nail? Yes. If you replace someone. Yeah. You are going to forget the guy. Right. And do you agree with that? I don't think so. It's worse, no? It's difficult because you are going to have two problems in one, no? Mm hmm. It might not help you get over someone. Yeah. But for a short time, you might feel better. Cheers! <laughs> I'm gonna die tonight. <laughs> a little bit. It's like half the, we did half the bottle. It's a lot. <laughs>